Today's story is about a young man by name Alpha. Alpha was from a village in Bayasa State, Nigeria, West Africa. He decided to leave the village in search of a better life for himself in the city of Lagos. But he only ended up living on the streets as an homeless youth. This is what a lot of youths in Africa, especially Nigeria, are going through. And just like most Nigerians, his search for a way out of poverty took him to the church. Luckily enough, it was through his church pastor that he came in contact with Cetrus Foundation. Cetrus Foundation happens to be a foundation dedicated to empower youth that are indigent but diligent. Kindly listen to his story. My name is Alpha Rubin. I'm from Baeza State. No, we are local government to put it down. My mother gave back to six children, but I came out in the family. My mother and my father born gave back to only I, but my father gave back to other two children to another woman. I'm, a, I'm the last born of my mother. So I, I finished my school in 2010. But after I finished my school, my parents could not offer me, could not afford my education anymore because of there is no money. And I've been struggling in the community, in the community but could not make it. So a friend of mine called me to come to Bini and I took that step to come to Bini. After I come to Bini for a job, I did not get the job. So I changed my mind to come down to Lagos State. So when I came at Lagos State, mm -hmm. I was struggling on the streets. So I get a job where we produce all anything color concerning plastic. So the life is so very hard. I could not make, I could not make it. And I know that with, with that uh, factory work, I could not be able to save money to take care of myself. I could not afford myself in my education. And after I walk from hand to mouth, at the end of the day, I, I cannot save anything because of payment, because of credit that I'm holding. So a friend of mine introduced me to the Central Foundation. It's okay. I'm interested in that. And he asked me, what do you have in your mind to me? I said, I already have. I've been learning. I've been learning well before things. Something came up before I stopped in the world. So I had the interest in to learn the world and to continue my way I stopped. So and he said, okay, and he take me to the to the office. And he said, yes. So that is why I'm here. I'm begging the central foundation to help me because my my parents are very poor and not get a better job. This way I'm staying. This way I normally stay. I beg the woman that since I'm walking here close to the close to the kiosk, let the woman let me allow me to stay here. So that any time I close the door, I should come and stay here because I don't have any place to see. Because I do myself to move for it. So how do you take your bed? I take my bed in the factory. But when I come outside, there's no place for me to take my bed. What of toilets? I, I, I take my toilet. When I want to toilet, I go inside the factory. When I'm when I, at work, I go to the toilet in the factory. What about when you are not at work? When I'm not, I used to toilet at. That's, that's the bush that we used to toilet. How many years will it take you to learn this or well in work? Let me see. It will take me one and a half years. Or oh, two, two years. years. Because your form has it that it's two years you feel on the form. When you were learning it before, what and what have you learned in welding? I learned how to measure, how to, how to cut the pipe, and how to measure the tape, the, the iron, and how to join the iron, the two iron, how to join two iron together. I've learned all these things. I'm appealed that. Central Foundation should help me so that 
when I gain somebody in life, when I have my own freedom, and I promise I'll help three more youths, three more youths in Africa, and I'll also be con contributing on promoting this so that the, fund the foundation will have more money to, to train more students, more African youths. Thank you. To be a part of this transformation story in transforming the lives of the numerous African youths on the waiting list, kindly reach out to Cetros Foundation via our GoFundMe accounts, our PayPal accounts, our dollar accounts, our Naira accounts, or you could reach out to us via SendWave by using our WhatsApp numbers showing below. Yes, this is Cetros Foundation transforming the lives of the African youths and saying thank you so very much.